May is foster care month. It's a time to raise awareness about the importance of fostering and give a spotlight on those who help provide homes for children. According to Eastern Easter Seals UCP, there are over 15,000 kids in the state who are in foster care and nationwide over 460,000. Uh, your science Adriana Hargrove joins us from the newsroom now. Adriana, you spoke to two Eastern North Carolina families who went through the foster care process. So what was that experience like for them? Ken and Angie, both families say it's about providing and giving children a loving home. They say not only is fostering one of their best decisions, but has also made a lasting impact on their families. Claude Brown Sr. and his wife Kimberly loves kids, so they decided to become foster parents. After going through training with Easter Seals UCP in New Bern and getting certified, they not only fostered, but adopted their seven-year-old son, Raylan. They were like, y'all ready to meet him? Like, yes. So when the, well, we thought we were going to go walk to meet him. No, we were going to bring him. So we thought he was going to get rolled in or in a wheelchair, but he came walking in. And he was wide open, and he's been wide open ever since. The Browns say since bringing Raylan into their family. Everybody loves him. He just, he just a ray of sunshine. And he went from not talking, because when we got him, he wasn't talking. To not stop talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Audrey Fisher with Easter Seals UCP tells me there's an alarming rate of children in need of homes in Craven County. She says they work diligently to recruit foster families willing to take children in. Easter Seals UCP launched the Foster Love, Foster Hope campaign, raising awareness to recruit foster families all over Eastern North Carolina. We really strive to find parents who are committed, who are um, trauma-informed or at least willing to become trauma-informed, meaning they are willing to learn about trauma and how it impacts. So we are working diligently to recruit foster families who are willing to um, take these children into their homes and, and work with them. Now, Fisher says every week they visit foster families to offer them guidance, including teaching families to better understand the emotional and mental needs of the children they bring into their home. Now, if you are interested in becoming a foster parent, there is a recruitment event coming up on June 9th. For more information on that and to hear the heartwarming stories of a couple of families who have adopted children after fostering, you can find that at WNCT.com. In the newsroom, Adriana Hargrove, 9 on your side.